Hi, and welcome to Cheeky Richos, how to debone a chicken. The first thing that we're going to do is spread the wings out from the bird and find the joint at the wing tips. You don't need to cut through the bone, just through the cartilage that holds the tips on. Remove those and you can either discard them or use them as stock later. Turn the bird over and take a sharp knife, cut straight down the backbone and start to peel the skin and the flesh back from the cage of the bird itself following the cage with your knife to separate the flesh from the bones. And the same on the other side. Try to always have the knife pointing away from your fingers and use the bones as a guide to follow down. Then remove the oyster, which is that little fleshy part on the back of the bird. It's very, very sweet meat, very tender, and you don't want to waste that, but you will have to follow the little concave area where it sits as you get down towards the breast follow it right around and go right around that little cartilage breast plate and remove the entire cage from inside the bird your wings and your leg and thigh will still be attached with the bones that will make it a lot more accessible and you can then remove that section as well but don't forget these bones make excellent stock just remove them Take any fat away from them and boil them up with some onion or some garlic, herbs of your choice, and you've got a fantastic flavour base for your next soup, stew or risotto. If you allow it to cool in the fridge in a tall container, any fat that has rendered from it will rise to the surface and you will be able to discard that in one lump. A tall, narrow topped container will facilitate easy removal of this fat and then you can just scratch off any extra meat that may have been left behind but this method will ensure that there isn't very much waste at all and discard the rest. The secret to successful boning is not to press too hard. If you do press too hard and you make a mistake you will slip and you'll cut yourself so just take your time with this and there you have a perfectly removed rib cage with the backbone intact. Now it's on to removing the wing. Scrape your knife down the top part of the wing where it attaches to the bird. Detach the sinews and cartilages and just slide the meat off and remove it. Then you can actually pop the joint in the second section of the wing and just pull those bones out and detach the cartilage have them quite easily removed with very little meat on them. Being careful not to damage the skin too much because we're going to be using this in a dish later that requires it to be rolled and we don't want to have any leakage of the stuffing. So just follow the knife down the bone itself, pull the joint out and cut off the cartilage and the bone will come out in one piece. Follow the bones with the knife, preferably with the knife leading away from you and you'll be able to take as much meat as possible away from the bird. If this is done in a commercial situation there is a lot more waste because labour is expensive and it takes a long time to bone it out to this level of bone removal. Now just repeat the procedure on the opposite side and release the bones from the remaining wing. A small, very sharp knife is ideal for this purpose because it has a slightly flexible blade. It's really just an extension of your hand without being too far away, you have a lot more control. The main thing is don't press too hard. Small cuts often and follow the bones. There's no need to cut through any bones in this procedure. You're just cutting through the cartilage and the best way to find that is to twist the joint and then release the cartilage. Now we get the wishbone which is now in two pieces. It actually snaps when you fold the bird open and remove it too. So it's one piece gone and then just release the other piece. Now with the wishbone removed, we just lay the bird out flat, draw the knife along the thigh bone and then single out the joint that attaches the drumstick or the leg bone to the thigh bone. 
wiggle it around until you find the exposed cartilage and just cut it off and remove it. Now follow the bone down the leg and just peel the flesh back, taking care to remove that little pointy piece of bone that runs along the side of the leg. It's quite dangerous, it's hard to find with your fingers, but take care to remove it. Bone out around the head of the joint, slide the bone back through and then cut through where it actually joins the lower portion of the leg and then remove that leg bone as well. Now we just turn the bird around and repeat the same process for removing the bones from the other thigh and the other leg. Locate the joint, pare the flesh away from the bone with the tip of the knife, pull the meat away with your fingers and detach the cartilage. Wiggle till you find the leg joint and remove it as well. Now split down the side of the drumstick, pare away that meat, taking care to remove that pointy bone, and you'll find that your bird is completely deboned now and ready for stuffing, rolling, butterflying, or anything that you care to do with it. It's easy for children or elderly people to eat. I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration of Cheeky Richo's tutorial on how to debone a chicken. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Cheeky Richo channel and don't forget to please subscribe and do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos every week. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day. And you've got the added advantage of being able to use all these bones for stock. Cheeky Richo's homemade ham and chicken roll.